personal fit, welcome to our workout of the day. And today is a neat, it's kind of a CrossFit theme routine. We're going to combine every minute of the minute with as many rounds as possible. So a couple of workouts as we go through, this entire routine can be done in under 30 minutes. So we're trying to really appeal to people. I know everyone's busy. Uh, 30 minutes, you get a lot of work done. Okay, and really the way this is broken down, it's only 22 minutes of work. So we have a five minute EMOM. So how the EMOMs work every minute, we have, a, we have, in this case, two exercises, it's 10 reps, okay? So during minute one, when minute one starts, we'll get 10 reps in our first circuit. I'll just throw it up there so you can see it. It's skiers and push-ups. We'll go over those in a minute. So you want to get those done. The remaining of that first minute is your rest, okay? And I've set the time to go up at 45 seconds, so we have a 15-second warning. Okay. When minute two starts, you go back. 10 skiers, 10 push-ups. Rest the minutes, your rest. Minute three, we did five times. Then we'll have a little break, and then we're gonna to go to an AMRAP. So the AMRAP, a little different, we have three exercises. And with this AMRAP, it's a six minute running clock. And you're trying to get through that circuit as many times as you can in the given amount of time, which in this case is six minutes. So uh, it's neat because you can retest and you can reevaluate yourself. And uh, if you're a little more fit, you might get a little more rounds in if you retest this or, or just work out again in the future. So a neat little workout is going to alternate. We have a five-minute EMOM, then a six-minute AMRAP. Then we do another five-minute uh, EMOM and another six-minute AMRAP. All right. We'll have about a couple minutes in between each one, so probably one to two minutes. I'll change the clock over, I'll recover, and we'll go. All right. So a neat workout, total body. Okay, um, hitting a lot of compound movements, hitting all the muscles of the body just about here, uh, all the major muscles for sure. Um, all you need are some dumbbells. Uh, I've got two pairs, you may need two or three pairs of dumbbells for this. And again, household items can, can be used in this too, like gallon jugs and backpacks and, and things like that if you don't have a lot of variety with your dumbbells. Um, guys, I think I'm ready to get started here. So uh, let me get the clock going here, guys. First exercise, skiers. Uh, you could do swings if you're not comfortable with this skier. The skier is a lot like a kettle swing, uh, except your legs would be a little different. Okay, so kettle swings were kind of wide, and you, you're hinging, hinging from the hips, coming up. Okay, guys, we're going to go to pretty good pace on this too. Okay, with the skiers, I'm moving my feet in a little closer because the weights are off to the side with dumbbells, and now it's back and up. So if you look at this motion, it's very similar with this hinging motion. Really trying to get that core to work. Uh, you need some hamstrings too. Okay, so skiers. Then we do push ups, guys. If you can go traditional, that's great. Uh, if you need to go to your knees, that's fine. Or some people may need an elevated surface to make it just a little bit easier for those 10 push ups. Based on your fitness level, you can vary those. All right, let's get started. I'm going to hit start here. I think we're ready to roll here. I'll hit start. I'll grab these. And guys, here we go. Right to 10 push ups. I can use these dumbbells. Okay, great. I'll hop up. What do we got left here, guys? Okay, we have about, about 25 seconds. So you can I recover a little bit. Here's our 15 second warning. You can tell those skiers kind of get <laughs> everything going, right? All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Knees are soft. Catch your breath. Three. 15 seconds. 
couple deep breaths. Okay, finish strong here. If you hear the tone, just stop. You only have 15 seconds. 15 seconds now. Some slow deep breaths. 10 seconds. Here we go. Round four, one more. Here's our 15 second warning. Okay, we'll go break after this one, okay? We'll start our next circuit after this. Finish strong here. Guys, you have uh, about 20 seconds here. You hear the 15 second tone. Here's 15 seconds. Five, three. Hey, catch your breath. We have about a minute or so off here. Kind of regroup a little bit. I'm gonna put our AMRAP on the board so you can see it, It'll be on your screen. Let me switch out the timers. So if you recall from the intro, this will be a six minute running clock. So you're gonna to try to get through this circuit, thrusters, row RDLs, and curls, all 10 reps. You'll try to get through that as many times using good form as you can in the six minutes, okay? So if it takes you two minutes to go through those three exercises with a little bit of break or an average or two, you'll get through three rounds, okay? So I think what'll happen is you'll, as you go through the rounds, you get more fatigue, so it'll take longer to get through those rounds. It only makes sense, right? So, uh, but it's great, like I said, nature is retestable. You just work out again, and maybe you'll get a little more workload the same amount of time, all right? So, I'm gonna take this out. Set this here. Guys, this is where you may need a little heavy weight, possibly, for the row RDLs. I think the thrusters and the curls will be pretty similar in weight. Uh, if you have a wide variety, you can obviously change that. Uh, I'm just gonna stick with two different weights here. So, um, six minute AMRAP, starting with thrusters. All right, so a full squat overhead press. Guys, let's get started. Here we go. I'm gonna hit start. We have our six minutes going here. Okay, here's our six minutes. It's starting. So I'm gonna squat down, drive over the head on one. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. A row RDLs. Make sure your knees are soft, back straight. All right. We're doing a bend of a row and we'll stand up with the weight. Okay. Here we go, great for the back here. Hamstrings, so back is straight. Row, one, two, three, four, Okay, curls. I think I'll try to stay supinated if you can. Then work the bicep a little harder. Here we go. One, two. Okay, that was one run throw. Okay, take the rest you need. Let's start round number two. We're back to thrusters. Don't have to keep my pace. One, two, Nice compound movement there. Working everything. Okay, real RDLs. Another nice compound movement. Multiple joints in motion. Here we go. Keep your form tight as you're fatigued. Easy to break form. Curls. Here we go. One, two, three. You can sit the weights down if you need to. All right. Here we go. Row RDLs.
curls. Okay, it was 10. We have a few seconds left here. Let's get some thrusters in. Here we go. as much as I thought I would. Just over three rounds, so uh, good stuff. All right, catch your breath for a minute here. We're back to another five minute, every minute of the minute. Okay, so this one where you stop after you've done these two exercises. The rest of your minute is your rest time. Then we'll go through that five times. All right. So tough one here, squat jumps. If you have a difficult time jumping, you can just squat, okay? So we'll do a squat or squat jump, if you're able. And then we're gonna go renegade rows. Renegade rows, you can use two dumbbells or one or like a gallon jug or something, right? So if you have dumbbells, it's easy, hands are down. We pull, we count every arm as one. So it's one, two. So we end up five with each arm, right? If you're using a gallon jug, or something you put pressure on, you'll pull, set down, switch, pull, set down. It takes a little bit longer with that transition of the hands, but still extremely effective, okay? So, squat jumps, radiate rows. Let me change the clock again real quick. Okay, we got that up. Get a quick drink. I think we're going here in about 30 seconds, guys. Uh, I didn't time the rest between these blocks. I guess we could have done that too. A minute would have been good, but more than two minutes. All right. <clears throat> so, squat jumps, renegade moves. All right. Whoo! Here we go. Mid start, I'll count down from four. You'll hear the buzz at three, two, and one, and we'll start. Right. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Land soft. Okay, ten renegade rows. Take these. Try not to turn the body. Challenging. Those renegade rows, you'll feel the core, the chest, shoulders. Try to squeeze the back. Okay, we have 13 seconds here. Those are tough. Fifteen seconds.
Good. To the rows. Sorry, you're tiring. Blue wings right now. 15 seconds. Squat jumps. this one tiring 10 seconds Sit these here. Come here. Fifteen more seconds if you need that. All right, guys. We have one more circuit. Six minutes, all right? We have a squat thrust overhead swing. So what you're gonna do, you'll drop down like a half burpee. So drop down, kick your feet back. You can use a chair or a bench for this also. If going over the floor is too stressful for a reason. Joints, lower back, whatever the case may be. And then when you hop up, jump wide. Swing weights up, back down. 10 of those are gonna feel like a lot. Then we have 10 bench dips, and then we're gonna go 10 lunges. Weight's optional, you don't have to use weight, okay? But that'll eat up some clock. So this one might only be two rounds maybe, but just push yourself, okay? So these movements take a little while. So um, anyway, you're gonna be challenged, I think. Uh, let me get this out of the way. So, <clears throat> right. I'll set this over here. Okay, I'm gonna get a quick drink. I don't want to take too long of a break here, but boy, those squat jumps, they get you winded. One more thing quickly before uh, we start this up with your bench dips. You can use a chair, obviously. Um, as your feet get further out, the exercise gets more challenging. Okay, so if it gets really taxing, if you're really tired, just bring your legs in tight to your body like this, and it becomes a little bit easier as opposed to have them all the way out. Okay, so you can fine tune that resistance a little bit. 
Okay. Remember on your squat thrust, it's a half burpee. No push up. Drop down, kick your feet back, jump forward and wide with your feet. As you come up, let the weights come behind you and then swing them up and then reset for your next one. 10 of those are very fatiguing. And then 10 lunges are also fatiguing. So, whoo! Let's get this going here, guys. Probably took too long of a break. All right. Here we go. Hit start. Squat down, feet back, jump wide. One. Core team here. Whew. Bench dips. Here we go. Ten of these. Squeeze those triceps. One, two, three. Stay tight to bench. Lunges. Here we go. Go step backwards. One. the top. Squat thrust like a devil's press. There's no push-up. Bench dips. Those will get fatigued. Lunges. Again, you can use weight. 
focusing the front leg. One, two, Back to the first exercise. Squat, thrust, overhead swing. Saved by the bell. Set these down. Wow. That was our total body CrossFit inspired routine. Combining every minute and as many rounds as possible. Man, I feel it. Pretty effective. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had a great workout. Stay safe and healthy out there. This is Lee Fitness, bringing wellness to you.